Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm joined today by the comedian, Miss K-Kid. Hey, Miss K-Kid, how are you? I'm good. Yourself? Oh, man, I'm great. It's great to see you. Thanks for being with me. Listen, Miss K-Kid, I want to tune into some of your comedy work and share it with our audience, if, if I may. Is that okay with you? That's all right with me. Go ahead. <laughs> I love it. All right, cool. All right, everybody, let's tune into some of the comedy of Miss K Kid. Energy going. I want y'all to clap it up. Put your hands together. Start clapping right now. Look at that. For the lovely, and I got to like this time, Miss K Kid! Yeah. 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 Go get him! Go get him! Go get him! Damn secrets. <laughs> it's hard out here for a stud, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a lot, huh, ma'am? I ain't doing shit. I just put on these fake ass pleather shorts and they just come. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This K kid really funny and great to share your work, and I'm really interested in learning about you. Can you tell me where you're from and how did how did you get how did you become a comedian? So I'm from Oakland, which is in the Bay Area, of course, oh. and I became a comedian because um, originally I was a poet. And I would go to open mics and I went to a mixed open mic one night and the comedian that was on the bill was horrible. And I looked at the producer and I go, is this what you call a comedian? And she said, yeah, but if you think you're funnier, you're more than welcome to come back next week and show us what you got. I came back next week and I've been on the mic ever since. Oh, I love it. I love it how that started. That's great. You know, that takes a lot of courage. And also as a writer writing poetry, to get up and mm -hmm. perform um you know is that something that you always were comfortable doing you know from the time you were a young child or or how'd that come to be yeah it was always comfortable with doing from being a kid i i moved recently and i found some old journals like oh my god like probably second grade of writing poems so wow. like art shell was my guy back when i was younger <laughs> <laughs> that is cool you know what i mean and that's and that kind of leads me to you know the inspirations that you may have had from a comic perspective were there other comedians that you watched that you were that you thought were great that you're like oh man i would love to be that you know kind of personality people that i love that i've watched are people like a Wanda Sykes, a Samore, a Tony Roberts. That guy's insane. Like, um, and um, oh my God, he's his name is eluding me right now. He's very like interactive. Um, I can't even think of his name. It starts with an A, but I haven't seen him in a while, which is why it's dismissing me. But I used to see him on Comic View all the time. And it was people like that who were silly, who were like naturally funny, who could turn anything into a joke that was good inspirations for me as I've decided to become a comedian. Oh, that's great. You know what I mean? And listen, I'm also a big fan of comedy and I could name a lot of the comic genius over the years that I've really enjoyed you know, Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy and like, you know what I mean? Rodney Richard. Dangerfield and some of the older guys too. And, and, and all of them have this quality. And that, and I think the biggest quality is being able to poke fun at yourself, to find yourself yeah. kind of funny. And, and then also, and that's what makes it so relatable, right? This K kid is mm -hmm. that we, we laugh because it happens to us too. Like, you know, you're exactly. pointing out why we're all so crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's we like to say, these are just jokes, but they're not. They're real life. <laughs> they are for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's great. <laughs> you had, I'm glad you came back and like, you know, after the poetry gig and then actually went out there and delivered some comedy. And now you've been doing some live performing and, and other kinds of things. What's going on right now or what's coming up in the near future for Miss K Kid as far as your comedy is concerned? In the near future, I got a lot of local Bay Area shows, um, one on like the 28th in Newark. Uh, I entered into a new comedy competition. It's called um, Black Ramento. So this is the inaugural year that they're opening. That, start, that launches for like um, Valentine's Day week. So I'm excited to be a part of that because there's a lot of nice up and comers that I would love to go, you know, head to head with because that's where you get to really see where you're talking. Yeah, yeah. So that that that's what I have coming up as of right now. And listen, do you use your social media channels to help let people know your fan base? Hey, look, I'm performing over here and and you know you can catch me here or or you drive people to your channels, that kind of thing. I've used predominantly IG. Yes. Every show, every uh, appearance is on there. I try to keep up with Facebook and, and Twitter and the other ones, but it's just a lot because it's just me managing myself for right now. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, always, always Miss K Kid on Instagram. You can find wherever I'm performing. <clears throat> That's great. You know, and I understand when there's multiple platforms. You know, it's difficult to pay the attention to each, you know, necessarily, um, but it's great to spread yourself around to a lot of locations so people can find you and discover you. That will also be the case on Phoenix 360 because we're looking forward to you being on there, Miss K Kid. So I want to. I want everyone to tune in to Miss K Kid's social media channels. You can find them below our interview today. And we'll also look forward to her being on Phoenix 360. So thank you so much. You know, keep making people laugh. I, I really admire your courage and your personality. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Thanks, Miss K Kid. You take care. You too. You be like, tap, 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 you be like, tap, 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 You be like, tap, 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 Then the toy just do his own thing. Like, roll, roll, fool, roll, roll. Don't believe you got them toys on.